The following contest here at the RWA Ghost Broadway is scheduled for one fall, and it is your main event of the evening, and it is for the RWA Heavyweight Championship! The time for talk is over, folks. The RWA has been tipped upside down with the presence of Mr. Morales and his involvement with several of RWA talents. Shady Shea Cash is no different. He falls underneath that umbrella. Having obtained the RWA championship title under controversy, corruption, collusion, it has not been a rightful reign by any stretch of the imagination. Shea Cash has employed the goons of Mr. Morales. He has, he has stolen his way to victory and holding those very championship titles. Ever since employing the hard work heroes, it seems as if Cash has everything he needs in place to hold on to the Ocean State Championship to hold on to the RWA Championship, but that title is up for grabs tonight as he defends up against former Triple Crown Champion and former RWA Champion, Team Phoenix. There's a picture in the museum in the Louvre. I don't know how many of you have ever been there. The picture is called Checkmate. The devil's sitting on this side. There's a chessboard and there's a guy sitting on the other side. And the guy sitting on the other side has his hand on his head like this. And he's like in desperation. And as they were taking a tour through the Louvre, there had been a group of, 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 of athletes and particularly ch world champions that were being given a special tour. And in the tour was the world chess champion. And he comes walking by the picture. And the guy's explaining to him, this is a picture of an artist's rendering of somebody who lost a battle with the devil. And so the group moved on to the next picture to see something else. But the world chess champion, he stayed there. And he just kept looking at the picture. And soon they noticed that he was not with the group. And so the tour guide came back and said, we've, we've, we've moved on, are you, are you coming? He said, well, I've been looking at this picture. And the guy said, yeah, he said, it's, it's called Checkmate. The devil's laughing, the man's lost. And he said, yeah, he said, I've been noticing that. He said, but while I've been standing here, I've kept looking at the picture. I'm, I've, I've, got, I've got a problem. And he said, well, what, what do you mean? He said, well, you know, I'm a, I'm a world champion chess player. And I spend my life playing chess and normal people don't always see what a world champion chess player sees he says but when y'all walked off I looked at the devil laughing and I looked at the man in desperation but he said I noticed something on the chessboard he said either they're gonna have to change the painting or they're gonna have to change the name and the guy said, well, why are they going to have to do that? He said, well, you know, I'm a world champion chess player. And he said, when I observed the board, I found out the king still has one more move. I come to tell somebody today, you believe you've been cornered. You believe everything is gone and nothing has got any hope. But the king still has one more move. The king has one more move.
This is truly a family affair. And knowing damn right well that Shea Cash wasn't gonna make his entrance single-handed, T. Phoenix, well, he's no fool.
and he claims that catch is the one true legacy family name in the RWA. And he states that for the last 10 years, he has been the face of the RWA. I introduce to you from New Bedford, Massachusetts, weighing in at 310 pounds, he is the RWA heavyweight champion, Shady Shay Cash! Your referee in charge of the action, Tyler Cowan. I think you and I both know how this is gonna go down. See, they're gonna stick their nose in my business, and then my two boys are gonna to have to get physical with them. So let's just cut all that mess out. I'll send my crew back. You send your crew back, and we fight it out one-on-one. -on -one. Or is what I read in the bathroom wall through, and it says, Shea Cash is a bitch. T. Phoenix desperately trying to make this a clean cut, one on one singles bout as it's supposed to be on paper. But you folks know and I know damn right well if the hard work heroes, if the Phoenix legacy are all at ringside, this is gonna turn into a fight. Historically speaking, anytime T Phoenix has worn the black pants out to the ring, it has been curtains for the other person on the other side of the ring. The biggest prize, Bobby, in the RWA. And I think it's more so about, like I mentioned in the intros, T defending the company. I don't think it's about the title. No, no, I mean, the title's a part of this picture. Don't get me wrong, Bob. You are spot on. There's a lot more at stake than just a championship title. Here we Honor, go. Pride and respect are also on the line as T Phoenix, a man pushed to his very limit, beyond his brink. Quite frankly, he's seeking revenge for what the hard work heroes have done to him at Devil's Night. He is looking to, quote, cut the, the head of the snake off in this attempt of dethroning. Shea Cash, having been the mastermind of several attacks, having having been the orchestrator of, of so, so much chicanery and violence, T. Phoenix truly has no other choice but to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this man. You gotta think about the spotlight we're under right now. You have to think about how this is one of the biggest stages that both of these men have been on in recent history. The first time that a wrestling event has been brought to the Columbus Theater. The first time the RWA goes Broadway and we are here for the main event for the RWA Championship. Shady Shea Cash now getting up to the apron, back into the ring. And it looks like the action is gonna start. Bell sound a while ago here. He right there to the midsection. Shady Shea already locking in. The headlock, we're gonna grasp at something right here too. A little blow to the midsection there. The Lewis and Rumbo trying to break the hole. Sends Shady into the rope. And a big shoulder block there by T. Sends the champion to the outside, who's looking to regain a new strategy. T looking to grab at Shea. Shea buying his time on the outside. So if Shea's not gonna get in, guess what? T's gonna go to the out. And now they are set a stage. Here in the theater, we're in the capital city, folks. We want to thank everybody who's joined us for tonight. And these two big, big men are trading blows back and forth. And guess what? It's a long way down from that stage. Shots going back and forth. It looks like they are going to take it down the stage. Looks like they're taking it in to the audience here at the Columbus Theater. People better watch themselves. 
We don't know what kind of chaos and anarchy is going to happen when they're in the crowd. We do know, however, that Mama Phoenix is here, and Mama Phoenix is getting her blows in. Mama Phoenix has watched T. Phoenix get bullied out of his own promotion several times over by that man. And I'll tell you, if I were Mama Phoenix, I'd have thrown some shots sooner. Having a tough time pulling the action from our vantage point, but it looks like T is making his rounds throughout the crowd as Shea Cash is being hit from everybody from 90 years old to 90. He's earned it. He has earned every single cheap shot he receives here tonight. Remember one thing though, Bobby, the championship cannot be won on the outside of the ring. He has to bring it back to the ring to take the title home. Oh, you're, you're spot on, but like we had talked about before, the championship title is simply caught in the middle of this mayhem. That's not what this is really about. This is something beyond the title. Look at this over here. I think the little girl's getting her shot in right now. Everybody's getting this shot on Shady Shay. <laughs> Oh, you. Matt Thomas is turned. If you, if you bought a ticket to the show, you are certainly getting your money's worth right now. He even wound up a little bit on that one. Did you see that? I mean, that, that's his crowning moment right here, quite frankly. And it looks like Shay took a seat. Can he pay for that ticket? Shady Shay Cash has had been put through the ringer and rightfully so, as T. Phoenix has watched that very man oh, no. Come on. Oh, it's oh, a reversal. Oh. <laughs> one from the CEO of the South Coast side crew. The chops are around the capital city tonight. That ain't thunder. That's the chest of Shady Shady being turned into meatloaf. The action starting to make its way back to the ring. Our, our referee, Tyler Calloway. Certainly being lenient with his calls here tonight. Not wanting to throw away a championship title match to the 10 count. And I can't say I blame him. And finally, some action being restored. Oh, but look at that. Think a poke of death right there. One thumb to the eye can change the entire complexion of the matchup. And Shady Shea Cash continues to gouge at the orbitals of T Phoenix. Oh! Another one looking to rock the world of Big Daddy T. Phoenix. How far and how long will the Phoenix legacy remain a mainstay here at the RWA? Or is the Cash legacy going to overtake it here tonight? Tonight is such a pivotal moment because, Bob, you are spot on. Right now, if, if, if T. Phoenix doesn't win this matchup, Shea Cash is never going to let him or anyone live it down. Dude, you have to wonder though, what was T Phoenix really thinking about coming into this match? I mean, the last time he was the RWA champion, I mean, AJP, he was watching Bob the Builder. Look, hey, it's been quite a while since T Phoenix has been in regular scheduled competition, but, but, but the, the heart of a fighter cannot be extinguished. Especially when you're seeing your own home being torn away, brick by brick, something that you, you spent your entire life building, for crying out loud. There's surely a personal grudge that has come to culmination here tonight at RWA goes Broadway as T Phoenix and Shea into the rope, who retaliates with a big boot. And a shoulder thrust sends the bigger man back to the canvas. Shea Cash is putting it down, and I'll tell you, He's looking impressive, Bob. Considering the beating he just took from T. Phoenix to still have the wherewithal, to still have the strength that he has at this point, it's impressive. You might be asking yourself after tonight's match, oh, how the mighty have fallen. How far of a fall is it gonna be for T. Phoenix if he loses this match tonight? How much is it going to hurt the legacy? How much is it gonna hurt the operations of the RWA in general? Look, man, over the past year and a half, I have watched Stables run complete roughshod Ooh. over the RWA. Right now, Shady Shea Cash has got quite the stable of his own, including the, the, the muscle that Morales brings to the table, the money that Morales brings to the table. Shea wins this matchup, 
And you might as well consider the, the, the RWA gone. You it's might the as well money. consider it Morales' property. It's the money. It's the influence. For sure. The roster. Absolutely. It's being able to call the shots, but it's also carrying that 10 pounds of gold that he calls the RWA championship. Ooh. T. Phoenix again on the receiving end of Shady Shea's offense. The big man appears to have no wind left in his sails. Gotta get an oxygen tank. Nick Knox is still here, right? We got an EMT, EMT on staff, I we, hope? We sure do, thankfully. Shea Cash now reverses the whip attempt. T. Phoenix ducks underneath the clothesline attempt. Oh! Crossbody block, scoring both adversaries in the process. That's the thing, when you get these two big bohemians in the ring, a move like that is going to take more out of yourself than it is your opponent in some cases. Neither man has gotten back to their feet yet. Calloway made it to the four count of his ten. We can't let it end like this, Bobby. Well, I mean, if that's how it ends, that's fine. I am not getting involved. <laughs> I mean, I'm not either. What time is it? I wanted to be in bed by 10. We'll see. 60 minute time limit. Of course, this is a championship bout here. T Phoenix looking to get fired up as the capital city rallies behind the owner of the RWA. Oh my God! The big man's got leaps, huh? He sure does. <laughs> Having pulled that weapon deep out of his arsenal, T. Phoenix is looking to finally end this. He's looking to put the capital T. I don't know, though. On Wait Cash. a minute, look who's coming through the curtain. The hard work heroes are back out here. And we have referee Nick Knox and Susan trying to prevent it. Wait a minute, hey, our Bobby, camera's catching it. Bobby Combs is, Bobby Combs is just handed Shea Cash a chain. He's, He's not allowed to hit! No! No! No, not like this! Get it out of there! Get it out! No! No! That son of a bitch had a loaded hand. Now nobody goes anywhere. Because ladies and gentlemen, non-binary friends, put your hands together and show your gratitude and appreciation to our ring defending RWA Heavyweight Champion Shane Shea. This is disgusting. This is absolutely disgusting. The commissioner has made a challenge and it looks as if AJP is going to answer it. Now, Rightfully AJP, so. So young and naive. If you Shea want to Cash. Yourself, Shea Cash has been spoken for. for looks like he doesn't. Do he hasn't even agreed to this. Morales. The commissioner has laid out a challenge, and Shea Cash, he's not failing it. Hook of the leg. AJP looking to score himself a surprise victory, as this entire matchup is a complete surprise to both everyone here, myself, Bob Whitney. Expect this, neither did Shady Shea Cash, and you have to wonder 
You have to wonder, is he going to walk out with the title? Oh, wait a minute. He's looking to gain control already. And you have to understand that AJP already fought a hard-fought tag match along with his partner, Isaac Knox. Some would say he may have carried that match. And I don't know if he's going to carry himself the victory. Shane Cash is carrying that same steel chain that he used to take out T Phoenix. He's not letting it happen though. He's not letting it happen. He connects with the kick. Look at this, AJP is feeling it. He's in his own realm right now. Could this be the night? Could this be the night that AJP walks out champion? He's gone up from the apron to the top buckle. He's looking down at Shea Cash. Oh, delivers the elbow. Those of you here in, here in person, those of you watching from YouTube or whichever streaming device it is, I'll tell you, you are witnessing something truly special. That young man has not only just earned the richest prize of the RWA, that young man has earned the right to call himself a champion in heart. He has defended the honor of the Phoenix legacy. He has kept the family business in the family. And kid, you have earned the respect of all of your peers. This truly has been a family affair here tonight as RWA went Broadway. On behalf of everyone here at the Columbus Theater, on behalf of everyone behind the scenes at the RWA, I want to thank you for joining us. I want to thank you for making this night special. Ladies and gentlemen, happy 2020.